So today we're going to take a look at how to auto trigger a campaign. So in your KV core, if you expand, you hear up the three lines, you expand your three lines. If you're on bold trails, that's the same thing as KV core. You would click those three lines and you would come down and it doesn't have the expansion. It's already expanded and you go to marketing, all marketing or just marketing. Either way works. And then you want to go to smart campaigns and it opens up different campaigns. Now, if you're looking to auto start a campaign, if you have the campaigns in there and they're turned on and they're blue, then you're already good and you want to auto start those campaigns, the ones. Now, the four that you want to start are, I'll show you as I go through them, you, and they're in alphabetical order. So you have default closed. That's one of them you want to auto start. You have default homeowner sphere. That's the other one. You see both of those are blue on mine. And then I want default new lead buyer. I can go down here and find it real quick. I think I just went past it. Here it is. Default new lead buyer. And then that one is one you want to auto start. For some reason, mine wasn't turned on, so I just turned it back on. Um, default new lead buyer, so that one's turned on. And the last one that I recommend is all the way down here for open house. And here's my open house one. Even though you might have more than one, you can say I have more than one, it doesn't matter. I just turn one of them on and doesn't, don't worry about the other one. If you have more than one, it just means someone in the company, like this is a company one, accidentally an admin put an extra one in there for everybody. And then when I was cleaning it up and putting stuff, I put through another one in there just for the fun of it to show people how to do it. So again, the four you want to start, again, these are in alphabetical. You want to look for default closed, default homeowner sphere, default new lead buyer, right here, default new lead buyer. I have a Spanish one. That's one of the ones I have on too. And then open house. If you have those four basic ones on, that's a good start. And then also you want to put in the one for best seller lead because you need one for sellers as well. Now I'm going to grab, I'll show you how to find the best seller lead. I'm going to put this one in here. Let me grab that sheet real quick for you. So at, I'm going to have this link in here for this. This will be at the bottom of the campaign. For right here where it says best seller campaign, all you're going to do is grab these letters and numbers. You're going to copy it, get those letters and numbers, copy it, go back to KV Core. You see at the top where it has these two squares right here, my cursor's touching it, not the add campaign button. You're going to click on the two squares. You're going to paste it, excuse me, paste in those letters or numbers. You're going to hit enter or return. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to clone this campaign? Like I said, it can take up to 15 minutes. I'm going to hit yes. And right here, the clone process has started. So that one's going to start. So I'll have these links in the description. I'll also put in the bestseller in Spanish for anyone who works with Spanish speaking people. And also here for the, def the default new lead buyer in Spanish. So we'll have these three together ready to go. And I'll have those that link at the bottom in the description so that you can have the campaign link. So you can just copy. Same thing. Just copy the letters and numbers. KV Core, open the two squares, paste them in there hit return or enter, you're good to go. Not a problem. Then you have it. So, but we're that time to make sure you have the right campaigns turned on. So now we're going to look at how to auto start your campaigns. Okay. How we auto start our campaigns. So if you have a campaign, for example, I'm going to go to the bestseller campaign. This one is already set when the status is a new lead because it's turned on. Whenever I have a seller, as you can see right here, it's labeled as a seller. A seller that's a new lead, this campaign is gonna start. Okay, so that's important to remember. That's how you auto start. It has to meet kind of the, the trigger they call in KB Coil, they call it the triggers. So you, so if it's a new lead that comes in and it's a seller, it's gonna auto start, All right? Now, if it's a new lead that comes in and it's a buyer, if I go down to default new lead buyer right here, if it's a new lead, and it's not considered new lead, but it's not a track call, which means it's not a call. This is already built in. You don't have to worry about it. I'm showing you what that means. It's a call lead, like or a text lead, anything like that, or it's not tracking someone calls in. If it's just someone that texts things like that, those won't start. Usually it has to be considered a new lead and a buyer. Now, if the KV core says, okay, I think this is a buyer and a new lead, and it puts it in, it's going to start because I have it turned on here. And that's how when leads come in, you auto start. Now, if you're doing ads and you're like, Andrew, I'm doing ads, I want to create my own campaign. There's another video going through showing you how to create campaigns in KV Core. Watch that video. I'm going to show you example again 
with the trigger I was talking about. So if you click add campaign after you've built all the templates out, again, that other video will talk about that. And I'll try to get that other video linked in the bottom as well to show you how to create campaigns in KV Core so it's easy to go to that video. I'll have the link right underneath here too. And then right here, say I'm gonna start when my lead is new and I wanna start where the source could be something else or I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna add a trigger. I'm just gonna do a new lead, which is a trigger. Either way, you see it, you only do one or the other. But if I want to do where the source is, then the source could be, say I'm running Facebook ads, the source can be Facebook. And now anytime I get a source that's Facebook, it will do that. Now I can also do it source as API. And what API is, API is when you connect your Facebook ads manager to your KV Core and you do that link it will go through and it'll come in sometimes as Facebook, sometimes as API, till the computer, till KV Core recognizes that API is being pushed from Facebook. It takes a couple of days sometimes. So this way, no matter how it comes in, if it's a Facebook lead or an API, I would have that and it'd be ready to go. Now you may be wondering like, Andrew, this is frustrating. I'm not, I don't know how to build my own campaign. I watched the video, I don't get it. That's fine, there's an easy way you can do it. So again, remember my default new lead buyer is only new leads that are buyers. So if I wanted that, I could do this. And then if I open this, click on the name of it, see I just click on the name to open it up. If I wanted to change this, I can clone it. And if I go right here and click clone, I can see right here where I did, I click that clone button. This is already built for me. So see right here, status is new lead, status is not track call. And then I can do the same thing, source, is not Facebook and API because I have a different campaign I would be building for my Facebook and API. And then I would just hit next, next, and just literally hit next, next, next till you get to the end and then you're done. And then you'll be back at this same thing and your campaign, you just, you have a button here at the top to turn it on and your campaign would be ready to go for any leads that come in that are API or Facebook would automatically talk to them with this same default new lead buyer. And then you can tweak it a little bit, like thank you for coming to my Facebook ad or for thank you for clicking on my, and checking out my social media channel. No, th this that campaign doesn't do that. It doesn't get very specific. It's a little generic, which is made on purpose to just to get buyers to talk to you. So this way you can get into a little bit more, get a little bit more like meat and potatoes, as they say, of the, of the ad and get into that. So again, have those five those five campaigns, default closed, default homeowner sphere, default new lead buyer, open house, and bestseller. And I'll have the links for the bestseller campaign below, as well as the link to the video of how to create campaigns in KV Core with a deep dive walking you through that. And then you wanna make sure you follow the steps, either turn them on if you're happy with it, and it'll pick it up, or turn it on so that when leads come in from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you have ads out there when you're building leads, you'll be able to grab those and pull them in and it will recognize that. And then you can make that extra connection that way by having a custom campaign. So that's very important to have a custom campaign. Hope that helps you. Good job, everybody, for doing so well. Keep up what you're doing. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Talk to you soon.